exciting, obviously, to be back and hang out with all of you, but um, in the very first cookbook, which I don't know if you know the cookbook process, it's a long time. Um, so the fact that this has been out into the world, uh, I think October 31st officially, is kind of a surreal moment to me. I think I started with, I tried to go too fancy. I was like getting too far into my head and my publisher was like, well, that's great, we can do it, but um, you need to make it accessible to home cooks too. And I was like, well, do I, I don't even know how to cook at home. Like, I don't know what that means. I think we can kind of strike that middle balance, which I think, um, again, over the past three years, we've definitely found. The recipe uh, today that you're gonna try that I'll show you how to make is um, basically reminiscent of like a baked macaroni and cheese, but it's not. <laughs> you have some semolina flour, which is higher in protein, and it's, it's far more structured than like an egg yolk. Um, so therefore it can stand up to richer sauces. And then again, the ratio of water to flour varies because you know in the winter time it's a lot drier, uh, and then obviously in the summertime it's a bit more humid. So you'll have to play with it. Bechamel is one of the five mother sauces, if you know. And if you don't know, now you know. Um, and essentially it's just uh, a thickened milk sauce. Um, and then you can add cheese or gruyere and then it turns into a Mornay. So we're gonna kind of do a variation on that. It's all melted together. And then we're gonna slowly start to whisk in our milk. You wanna do a little bit at a time at the beginning. And then we have Fontina cheese. So Fontina I like because it's really melty, it's gooey. Um, it has a little bit of funk, but if you don't really like that, you want something a little bit more mild, you can use the cheddar or any great melting cheese. Or Kraft and Arts singles. <laughs> I've done that before. Admittedly, it's one of my favorite cheeses. <laughs> and now, it's time to cook your pasta. So for me, when you cook pasta, you have to have everything else done. Um, cooking pasta is the last bit, not only because it doesn't take as long, um, but the pasta won't wait for the sauce, the sauce will wait for the pasta. So, enough for the pasta that we're cooking. And get that ready, because we're gonna go right in here. And I'm grabbing a little bit of that pasta water too. There are things I don't like to eat. Two things. Um, I love cooking and butchering lamb, but I cannot eat it. I can't eat it. It's just, it's too much for me. And because I remember like, cooking these big things. He did a lovely cook in back book. Um, he was cooking these huge, spit roasted lamb, and I walked up, and I'm like, great. And he was like, he took a piece of lamb, and like, there's cameras around, and he basically like, hand feeds it to me, and I'm like, okay, well. It's like, I'm gonna like that. It's Andrew Zimmerman, I love you, you're my friend, and I'm gonna eat this. And so he like, I, I went for it. And it was good, it was good, but I don't need to do it again. <laughs> and then uh, smoked salmon is something literally that will, like I can't physically swallow. I think it was from making too many smoked salmon canapes, like as an intern. I was like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. 